Hey darlings, how are you? This is going to be for my Sagittarius and this is going to be for the weekend of the 15th and 16th. I will be using my Affirmators Tarot deck and to clarify, I'll be using tarot with keywords. And it's going to be for the 15th and 16th this weekend. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. And of course, Ben is next to me. The Two of Cups, unified love, past energy, ended painfully, Ten of Swords, the Hermit, you went within. I can't focus my cards as good as I want to because of the young lady that's right there. Seven of Swords, There we go. The star. You're a little tied up inside. The star. Hope, faith. Got to keep that. Ooh, the king of pentacles. This is an earth energy. This is a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. The four of wands. You're relaxing like you're waiting for something, you know. Chill the Six of Pentacles, emotionally, ba <laughs> emotionally balanced and financially balanced, giving and receiving. And the King of Swords, this is an air energy. This could be um, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. If not, you could have possibly... Oh, excuse me. You could possibly be thinking of um, communicating or you might have, you want to communicate with someone. You're actually going to communicate with someone. So let's see the two of cups. top of the two of cups came the six of pentacles so you felt balanced there and the wheel of fortune you had karmic good luck on your side um the six of pentacles and karm uh, and the wheel of fortune now remember the wheel of fortune i mean it moves forward but it's a little bumpy remember life is bumpy you know not everything is all glitz and gold and glamour just got to know how to handle it when it's not. The Ten of Swords. On top of the Ten of Swords comes the Empress. You are abundant. You may be pregnant. <laughs> um, I see the Five of Pentacles above that. I don't think pregnancy. Um, and you have the mindset of lack. Abundance, um, the Empress. Um... You're really nurturing and caring and loving. You have abundance around you, but you have the mindset of lack. Oh, you feel like you might have had a financial loss. Um, you might have had... Um, it's a little financial setback probably, but it's only temporary. The key word, temporary. You got to start doing something about it, Okay. The Empress 
and the five of pentacles. So now you went within after your broken heart. Now you, you got your heart broken, okay? And the empress can be for anyone, masculine or feminine, okay? And the hermit. You got the four of cups. You need to do some thinking and you got the lovers. Hmm. Are you meditating and wondering if this is the right love? Are you meditating or... Do you hear how hungry I am? I need to go eat after this one. I'm going to eat breakfast. So, um, so what I think you're contemplating is the loss, the breakup that you suffered. And that's what I think you're thinking about, the lovers, the love. And that is past. Then we got the Seven of Swords. It's got you all tied up inside, huh? And on top of that comes the Page of Cups. Don't worry, darling. You're going to have some creative opportunities coming and news. And you're going to have some message and some information. And your curiosity is going to be satisfied. And I got the Five of Wands. And when your curiosity is satisfied, there's going to be a little inward conflict. Okay? Now... Don't go looking for things. When you go looking, you find. Are you ready to find out what you really want to find out? Because it could cause conflict, okay, in your environment. Oh, goodness. It could cause conflict in your environment. That's the five of wands. But you can walk away. You don't have to compete or clash egos with nobody for no reason. You could be the bigger person and walk away. But Sagittarius, you know you little fiery. A lot fiery, actually. And then the, the star card. Let's see. You got the moon on top of it, and you got the world. So you got the star, the moon, and the world. So I say you need to keep the faith, and you need to keep the hope alive. You need to stay calm and collected. Now, there may be some things that you are not seeing clearly. And for some of you, maybe your eyes were opened, and you are able to see clear as ever. Because the world card means you attained something. You successfully attained it. Something came to completion, but in a good way. Okay, so it could have been an argument. But the moon. Having some fear and anxiety, okay? You need to chill out. You need to relax. You need to breathe. Go breathe. You really need to breathe. You need to know that everything is going to be okay. That this is just for time. Life is up and down. But you can find the balance. And the king of pentacles. On top of the king of pentacles comes the four of swords. You got to think about something, huh? And the five of cups. You're accepting some kind of loss where this King of Pentacles is concerned. What is that about? Some kind of personal setback. Maybe you're doing too much. Maybe you're very tired and you're exhausted, you know, and you just feel just like that. Look at that figure. You know? You want to move on. You want to find peace. But darling, all you got to do is forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. You will feel better. And I mean really and truly forgive. 
Don't hold on to anything. It's not worth it. The four ones. Oh gosh, here we go again now. The four of wands. Let's see. And I'm not reading all of them there for sure. The four of wands, but I'm gonna not use you. Come on. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe they don't want me to give you any more messages. <laughs> the four of wands, let's see. On top of the four of wands comes six of cups and the king of cups. So the, for some of you, somebody from the past is gonna be returning or for others, you all are living in the past you're thinking about the past and it's making you emotional okay or actually it might be making you emotionally stable by thinking about the past maybe you're on a healing journey there because on top of the four ones the relaxation you're relaxing i do see there's the six of cups here and the king of cups now the six of cups could mean someone from the past returning or it could mean for me, because you're relaxing. If you look at the card, it's like you're just chilling and, you know, you might be in your own head. Um, the Six of Cups could be you're thinking about what the past or someone from the past is returning. And it could be a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Cancer. And the Six of Pentacles, you shall feel balanced. Okay, Benny. The Six of Pentacles. On top of the Six of Pentacles comes the Eight of Pentacles. You're working very hard, very, very passionate of whatever it is that you're doing. Good for you. You have a lot of talents and skills. Don't sell yourself short, okay? And the King of Wands, the King of Wands, that's a fire energy, Sagittarius. You're a natural leader, darlings. Y'all got this. And like I said, the masculines, it just, it doesn't mean male or female. It's just, it's just the energy, you know what I mean? But, you see, when you do collectives, for me, there's sometimes I do feel that the King of Wands, but I do know this is you, Sagittarius. And the Pentacles. There's times I feel that this is an actual energy within your environment, you know? And then you got the King of Swords. You got the Eight of Pentacles and the King of Wands. And then the King of Swords. You know, I don't know what's wrong with me and these cards sometimes. And I do clean my cards. You know? Maybe it's just me. King of Swords. On top of the King of Swords comes the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Excuse me. You want a mission to communicate with somebody. You want to communicate with them fast. And not in a nice way, I don't think. You want to defend something. Just think about it, okay? If this is someone from the past that you want to communicate with, like to give them a piece of your mind, um, think about it. You got to think about the people who are in your environment right now. If you're happy where you are, 
let the past go. Ain't no need to communicate with anything from the past. The reason it's there, there is a reason it's there. It wasn't meant for you. No matter what you feel, it was not meant for you. So we got the Knight of Swords and we got the um, Knight of Cups. Uh, some romantic, you're very romantic and you know, very creative. You're gonna make things work no matter what, no matter what situation you're in. I love you guys. You need to start believing in yourself and you really and truly need to start healing. You take care, I will see you soon. Bye.